what are you doing in my computer? Oh, hello everybody. This is Father Alan. And in our first reading today from the book of Numbers, we have a very peculiar story, one that we also hear for the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross, about Moses and the Israelites in the desert. Now stay tuned because you're going to see pictures. Now in this reading, we hear about how the Israelites are out in the desert with Moses and they are starting to get annoyed. They start to curse God and Moses and say, why have you brought us out here into this desert to die? What's, why are you doing this? And we hear in this reading that God sends as punishment snakes among them that bite their legs and kill some of them. So the people cry out to Moses and to God saying, help us. So Moses does a peculiar thing and takes a snake and mounts it on a pole. And anyone who looks upon it is healed. Now, this image of a snake around a pole, we see parallels in Greek mythology and in the world of medicine. And you may have even seen it for such places like the symbol for the World Health Organization, that image of a snake mounted on a pole, as a sign of healing and strength. Now, we know in the, in the scriptures, the snake is a symbol for sin. Think about the story of Adam and Eve in the garden. And now, we might find a parallel between this story and what we're experiencing now. God doesn't send coronavirus to punish us, but maybe he has allowed it in order to open our eyes. Now, can we look to him and see in him our healing? For example, can't we see how this image of a snake on a pole point the way to Christ on the cross for us. As in the words of St. Paul in 2 Corinthians 5.12, For our sake he was made sin who knew no sin. The snake didn't sin, but was a, was a reminder of their sin. Just as Christ on the cross became sin for us, to die for us, to point out our sins to us. He who was innocent. I think it's ironic that this coronavirus is happening in 2020. Numbers that we typically associate with vision. And maybe today they invite us to think about and recognize in Christ our true healer. May we look to him today and always.